I'm Eliza and I'll be on my way off to meet Bensa to talk to you guys about some interesting Dutch quirks that we've realized together. Hey guys, my name is Bensa. I'm a second year business student at Tilburg University and today I'm gonna show you around Tilburg and give you an impression of the Netherlands. What I always find very interesting is that the Dutch people can ride their bikes with no hands. <laughs> this uh, place is called Sport Park. This area is called Sport Zone. This place is Pius Haven. It's full of uh, canals. And this is one thing that I love about Tilburg. You don't have to travel big distances between different parts of the city. Just met at the campus a few minutes ago. And uh, at this very moment it's even sunny, so it really is a lovely <laughs> and it's also windy now. As you guys can see, the weather is really constantly changing in the Netherlands. Uh, quickly on our way, we just wanted to show you the library. As you can see, here are the stairs leading up to the library right there. Well, one thing that I was warned about before I came here was that Dutch people were supposed to be very cold and like not very friendly to begin with. I've really had quite the opposite experience here, especially in Tilburg. Uh, Dutch people, it, from my own experience, are very, very open-minded and they want to get to know you and they want to know about your life, where you come from and I've never felt anything but welcomed from them. I kind of had a similar experience, like apart from a few small negative ones, <laughs> most of them were really positive. How would you describe Dutch culture in like two or three words? So I would say tolerant, uh, pretty cooperative. The biggest word that comes to mind is efficiency. They're very efficient. And being on time, yeah. Right, yeah, being enough. on time, everything being efficient, you know, like even the, even their meal, like stampot. It's an efficient meal. You boil the vegetables and then you mash them all together. Efficient. Still better, you know? honestly, than the Boterham culture, like the sem eating really? sandwiches for lunch. <laughs> That's what I had for lunch. <laughs> efficient, you just have a Boterham and then you go on with your life and your day, you know? Yeah, but if it just you, takes you five minute tops. If you don't care about the taste at all, then. <laughs> Why not? Come on, like efficiency. I think it shows in like all aspects of their lives, you know? What is your favorite Dutch holiday? Favorite Dutch holiday? Um, there are quite a few that are nice. Like I really liked Carnival uh, last year before Covid. That's my favorite <laughs> that was, too. Yeah, definitely interesting. Uh, but Dutch people really take it seriously. Like that's a whole week of partying. Uh, yeah. I was supposed to just meet with a few Dutch uh, people and my friends. And they told me, yeah, just meet at 11 somewhere. So guys, where are we meeting at 11? And they were like, bro, you didn't come. We're already like, done. <laughs> I'm like, oh, so you guys meant 11 in the morning. Oh, no. Here we are in front of the newest building of the university, which is called Cube. It's a pretty modern building. It has many nice staff study places and um, yeah, also a huge lecture hall. Yeah, they also have like very nice like private study places that you can like book with friends or like alone. And it's so nice because like it's it's fully like just windows so you can just look out into the forest which is behind us right here and i think it's really really nice area to study so for more information on everything we talked about and the university itself of course uh, i would say you can check out tilburg university's own website and you will find more information there